Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Accidental Beauty. If you're new, welcome. My name is Laura. I'm a self-taught makeup enthusiast who absolutely loves playing with cream blush. That's what I'm going to be doing today. I've got two different shades of the Stila Convertible Color Dual Lip and Cheek Cream. I've got the shade Peony and the shade Lilium. That's what they look like. I'm wearing Peony actually on my face today, but I'll be swatching both of these on my face, doing a little tutorial. So if you guys want to see my thoughts, impressions, review, all of that, then please keep on watching. All right, so let's just read up a little bit on this product because I actually didn't really know that Stila made blushes. So the Stila website says, our ingenious two-in-one lipstick and blush is loaded with creamy translucent color. Let's try that again. Our ingenious two-in-one lipstick and blush is loaded with creamy translucent translucent color for simply irresistible lips and cheeks on the double. This makeup bag must have features of fresh, fresh burst of radiant color that blends beautifully to create a gorgeous glow. Just tap onto cheeks and press onto lips for a fast makeup fix anytime. And then it won the InStyle's best cream blush for 12 years. Wow, this is an old product. Uh, there are 0.15 ounces in here or 4.25 grams. Just to compare, just because I'm curious, the first one that comes up is the Melt uh, Cream Blush Light, and you get more or less the same amount of product for 0.14 ounces or 4.5 grams compared to 0.15 ounces or 4.25 grams in the Stila. Pretty average size for a cream blush at Shoppers Drug Mart, which is like the Canadian equivalent of like a CVS, a Walgreens. It's like a a drugstore, a pharmacy, and then you can also buy makeup there. This retails for $33 Canadian, $25 US. I guess that's, yeah, that's about average. Okay, that's what it looks like. I'm worried that it's actually just gonna blend in with everything that I have on my face because I've got like a very intense look on my face today using a very intense bronzer and a foundation shade that's a bit too dark for me. So let's try it out and see how it looks. Uh, there aren't any instructions on how to apply it, so I think I'm just gonna dab it on with my fingers because it's a cream product and I don't wanna disturb the makeup that's going on underneath because I had issues blending out my bronzer. Oh, this is such a pretty delicate color. It's actually more warm tone than it looks in here. Blends out beautifully. It is pretty sheer. I don't know if you can even see it with my bronzer, but it is actually blending into my bronzer very nicely. Sometimes I have issues if my blush shade is like a bit too much and kind of clashes with my bronzer. So this one seems to be blending in pretty nicely. This is really, really pretty. Definitely for more softer makeup days, I think you could build this up to be more intense and it is very beautifully dewy. I am wearing a very glowy primer and I've got like a lot of glowy products on today, but I think this actually works really, really nicely. I'm just gonna add a little bit on my nose because I like having a little blush on my nose. Look at how glowy I look. I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face and then I'll come back and show you guys the final look. So I'm back, I have the rest of my makeup on. It's very spring themed today. Uh, and this is the final look. So let's talk about my thoughts. I've been wearing my complexion products for several hours now. I feel like the blush kind of toned down a little bit. I feel like it was definitely a bit more, like, I mean, you can still see it, but I feel like it was a bit more vibrant before. I also patted on some uh, face powder in between just because I felt like I was looking really orange because my foundation shade really doesn't match me. It might have toned down the blush a little bit. I'm just gonna pat on a little bit more. As I mentioned earlier, it is a very soft like, flush of color. So, you know, I don't expect it to be super, super intensely pigmented. If it is something that's like a light wash of color, then I wish it would kind of like stay instead of kind of melting away a little bit. Next time I think I would apply more blush than I normally would, just keeping in mind that it will probably fade a bit throughout the day, which is I think normal for a lot of cream products that they do 
kind of move around a little bit throughout the day. They might, you know, kind of sink into your skin and kind of dissolve a little bit unless they're purposely formulated to uh, kind of stay in place. You know, I'm not too upset because it is probably just the nature of this product, but it is really, really pretty. I really do like the formula. It's very balmy, so it is very emollient, which is probably why it kind of disappeared a little bit. Honestly, really, really pretty. I'm very, very happy with this. I've actually got this in another shade, so I'll be showing you guys that product next so you can kind of see see what it looks like. Okay, so this is actually um, another day. So this is the shade Lilium. I'm just gonna apply this again with my fingers. Beautiful color, very, very neutral. I don't even know if you can see it. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll zoom in, maybe that might help. Um, but yeah, basically it's like a very, very light neutral pink. Although actually once it's on my face, it's like, you know, it's, it's there. Might have to reapply my highlighter cause I kind of went a little high. Okay, now does that look dewy? I think that's just my highlighter and like I'm wearing sort of a glowy primary base mixing product on my face. Um, so I feel like that's coming through a little bit, which I really don't mind actually. I'm starting to really get into a glowy complexion, like sort of a radiant dewy complexion. I used to be very like, I want my face to be as matte as possible and uh, now I don't mind if there's a bit of dewiness coming through, which I find is like a bit difficult for me because I have incredibly dry skin. So I feel like even with something like the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, which is supposed to give you a little bit of that glow, it shows up beautifully at first. And then within an hour, I feel like my skin just like devours it. And then I look like a dry cakey mess. I'm just gonna use my sponge a little bit just to pat it in because I feel like the edges look a little a little harsh so I just want it to be as smooth as possible yeah that is really pretty usually I'm okay with a very very bold blush this blush is perfect for spring it's like a soft like sort of delicate wash of color but I don't think this is going to show up on darker skin I don't know if they make other shades. I would hope that they do. Okay, so far it's okay, but it's like sort of threatening to separate my foundation. I'm wearing a lighter coverage foundation than I normally do. And uh, it's like one of those serum foundations. It was already starting to separate before I put any product on. And I feel like this is not making things better. So you know what? I'm gonna actually just stop touching it, I think. That might be the best course of action. I also brought my blush down really far. I don't know why I did that. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom in. And that's what it looks like. Very cute, very natural, you know, close-ish. Close to my natural like blush flush color. Um, mine is like a little bit more red but uh, very, very cute. If you're into no makeup makeup and uh, you're kind of close to my skin tone, then I think this is actually really good. It's a little bit peachier actually, now that I'm looking at it. It's a little bit like warmer peachier than it looked in the pan. In the pan, I feel like it looks kind of more cool toned, almost like mauve-y or mauve for Americans, but applied feel like it looks a little bit warmer, but maybe that's just the products I'm wearing underneath. I'm not really sure, uh, but it's cute. I like it. I think I give this a solid 4.75 out of five. I don't love that I'd probably have to reapply this throughout the day, but it's very comfortable. It's very pretty. I know I have a very glowy complexion going on today with the products that I used, which I'll leave linked in the description box if you're interested. I feel like balmy products like this just really add to that, that dewiness, that very like fresh faced, glowy lit from within complexion that's super in right now. So I like that. Definitely wanna play with this some more. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. If you've tried out this product before, let me know. 
I have actually, I think I mentioned this earlier, but I've actually never seen these in stores and I actually had never heard of this until my friend gave it to me because they weren't using it. So um, really appreciate that because I love trying out products that I never would have checked out on my own. It's just a fun way to learn about like what's out there and even just try out products that I normally wouldn't use and then find out that I actually really like them. So I always find that fun. If you like the type of looks that I do here on my channel, normally they're actually, this is like a toned down look for me. Normally they're a lot more bold, a lot more colorful, a lot more out there. So if that's your thing, I'm sure you'll enjoy the content that I post on my other social media. It's a lot of like looks, either photos and some video of the looks that I post here on my channel. So if you like this type of stuff, I'm sure you'll enjoy the stuff that I post on my other social media. And I would really appreciate it if you could follow me, just check out my profile. Uh, that just really helps me grow as a creator. And if you enjoy the content that I post here on my channel and you wanna see more, I'd love it if you could subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you'll get updated every time I post a new video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.